Welcome back to Kenshi and welcome to the channel. I am Twisted Logic. This town, this dilapidated town, didn't have King Gruglar. So I'm thinking that King Gruglar is either going to be in this island lab or maybe there's another site to the northeast. So we're going to check the island lab first and then head north. Okay, everybody's up. We're not striking camp. Normal rain right now. We have these mercenaries. One of them without a leg and one of them... It's kind of okay. Maybe we can splint injuries on this one. Splint injuries on this mercenary captain as well. Okay, everybody's moving together. We're making our way south. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. And let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, there's some items here. Okay. Set can get the fragment axe. And Swift can get the plank over here. We got another Groglar attack. This fragment axe is too heavy for a set. Everybody right here. Tackle. Oh, Logic's in the thick of it. He fell. Logic fell in battle. Katoshi. Pick up Logic. Ro also fell in battle. Everybody back over here. Oh, Set's in trouble. Okay, I'm just gonna have Set throw this axe onto the ground. Nice. K Kang can get the Fragment Axe here. He can hold it at least. Okay, I'm not really seeing anything else here that's worth it except for this repair kit. see a light off in the distance here. And it looks like a bunch of Gruglars over there. Let's go check out that light. Okay, we have everybody. Another light over here. Okay, that may be a nest. We're going to check out this light here. Okay, it looks like a... Looks like a Gruglar nest. Here. Gruglar nest 121. back a little bit. Oh, Kihaku fell. It was almost spirited away. 
Ruka is going to pick up Kihaku. Okay, attack target. Okay, just put a couple of the characters in bed. Not too long, though. Kihaku will be up in a couple seconds here. We should take out the next nest as well. We need another fragment axe for Kang, and we're on the move. Everybody, we're gonna head over to this other nest here. Everybody's back on their feet. Okay, attack all. What? You guys move in there. Attack all. Big group behind us. Grovelar Nest 123 has been wiped out. Everybody, remuster over here. Get him, Sue. This Tonka's taking him out. Logic fill in battle again. Okay, Kang. Pick up logic. As soon as any of the characters fall in this area, we have to pick them up or a gurgle our will. Medical. Or one or two of the gurglers are getting back up over here. One, one hit, nice. That's why I wasn't really looting them because not really, they're not really getting up. About like 50% of them are dying. This one may still die. He's bleeding out right now. This is the mercenary with one leg. We got another large group over here. Okay, we're gonna get away from these prisoner poles. Right over here. Fight! Bulls are devastating to the Groglars. I need the weapons with multi hit. Nice. 
nice. We're making our way to the southern lab. Looking for any other nests that we can take out. This one didn't have anything nice there, but sometimes the nests can have weapons and stuff. If I can get one or two pieces of armor for these new characters, it'd be nice. Okay, let's stop right here, and I'll take a look at the stats. Okay, Flashbox Toughness is already 8. These weapons are kind of getting up there as well. Dexterity's getting up there. Sets, Dexterity 6, Toughness 4. Swift Dex is 7, Toughness 5. Kihaku, Dexterity 4, Toughness 6. Cat, Dexterity 8, Toughness 7, and Row is 7-7. Seven, seven. Excellent. Right over here at the bottom, we're going to muster right here. Okay, this island lab here has a roaming population of 76, split into two squads. And resident max is 30 out of 30. So there should be at least, at minimum, 30 fishmen inside here. No gate on the door. Let's come around the side here. I want to come all the way around the back to this area over here. Without going inside, nobody go inside. Right back here. Okay, one of the Gurglarsaurus. Oh, no, no, he ran out. Oh, there's a whole... Okay, a whole group of them fighting that one mercenary. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it and lay down some camp beds, and then we'll come back to that fight. Okay, set those. Let's take a look what's going on down here. This mercenary's left leg is messed up. All these Gruglars waiting to get in. <laughs> Jobs on, let's get Row in the bed there. All the new characters in beds here. It's acid rain right now. Oh, I thought this, uh, okay. I thought this would save us from the acid rain, but I guess not. And even more Gruglars are coming over here. Uh, looks like we are not in a good spot at all. Oh, okay. Some of them went up and then came back down. Okay, they saw us. Everybody right here. Some of them saw us. Okay, there's a lot of Groglars here. 
Oh, it looks like the first floor is kind of empty, so we can move in. So long as we survive. Everybody pull back outside. King Groglar. There he is. King Groglar's walking down the... Okay. I really wanted to heal before I fought him. <laughs> Everybody back here. Oh, he's running. Can you get out of there? Right here. King Bruglar right here. We found him. King Bruglar's dodge is 21. Toughness 41. Dexterity 30. Strength 89. Defense 42. And attack is 41. This is a very dangerous situation we're in. Dr. Chung and Logan are going to have them move off onto the side here. Kang. Kang's going to go into block mode. No, block off on Kang. He's not... I need him to engage. Right over here. Attack target, King Griglar. Gnu and Logic. I'm gonna pull back over here. Oh, Logic's down. Kang, pick up Logic. King Griglar's down, he's dying. We're going to have to move the beds inside. Excellent. Well, the Groglars are down. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it looked like to me that this overhang here would block the acid rain, but I suppose it's not. So I want everybody to muster right here. Uh, maybe let's muster inside. Dr. Chung can pick up Ro. Oh, she's got Swift. Katoshi? Pick up Ro. Everybody's in combat again. Okay, we got just an Alpha Groglar there. Okay, we got more Gruglars inside. Where'd you down here? I don't want him fighting on the ramp. Okay, let's just check the ones who fell in battle. Okay, Logic's being carried. Looks like Sue's got set. Dr. Chung has Swift, and Katoshi has Ro. Okay, excellent, excellent. Nobody goes upstairs. No more from coming down. <laughs> back. I have an advantage when I can multi-hit them. So when I, when I fight on the stairs there, they all group up. And they kind of like form a line. Tech target right here. New Luke King Gr Gruglar. Get him. Yes, King Gruglar here. Combat Cleaver, Hacker Class. Model number Mio2, manufactured by Cross. Nice. Value is almost as much as my truck. 
<laughs> Almost 40,000 cats right there. Groglar head. The decapitated head of a king, Groglar. This trophy is worth a heavy bounty. Yes, Canoe's got that, and we'll take the foul meat as well. Excellent, excellent. Okay, that seems to be the last Groglar for now. Some of these may get up. Seems like we're kind of healed as well. Let's see, is it still acid rain out here? Yes, it is. Okay. Re inside, and then Sue can dismantle. Okay, next floor up. Next floor up looks clear. Top floor also looks clear. Excellent, we're about to start looting. I just want to set up a camp. Okay, this looks pretty good. Confirm. I need to get all these characters healed. There's another Gurglar coming at us. It's okay if some of them get up and attack, that's fine. Bed needs power to operate. So if I could somehow get power to this bed, I can I can use it. I don't like how I can't like dismantle the bed and like take it with me. Because I can't build these yet. I need to research more. Okay, we got a holy flame right here. Sake. Grog. A bunch of skeleton muscles. Put some boxes over here. Block level 23. Let's see if Katoshi can pick it. Oh, he can. Nice. Okay, it's just some fish. With this green box. More fish. Machine blocks can't be looted. Get some barrels over here. Okay, barrel B. Can't be looted. Looks like the bulls took out one of the Gurglars here. I just have to be careful because another group may come up here, I'm not sure. Well, let's take a look at the map here. Roaming population is now 41, number of roaming squads is 1. And actual number of residents is now 0. Excellent. So there's one roaming squad somewhere. 41 Gruglars that may come up here. Oh, uh, we got a power core over here as well. Grind machine right here. Let's check it out. Average price is 900. Nice. Stolen from King Gruglar. <laughs> oh, it looks like a little angle grinder. Nice. Got a box right here. Pick the lock. Oh, you know what? I'll save all the lock boxes for um, GNU and Logic to pick. How's Gnu doing? Logic. Okay, Gnu can move. I'll move Gnu up here. Get an Emperor statue. Power core right here. Okay, 
some rice bowl. Like a GNU can pick this lock. This is uh, lock level 27. Tools right here, skeleton eye. Drifter's leather jacket, masterwork. Blunt resistance 33%. Cut resistance 44%. Cut resistance efficiency 70%. Weight 4 kilograms. Crossbow effect 1.10x. Melee defense bonus plus 5. Okay, Logan's gonna get this. Nice. Got as much fish as he can carry. <laughs> now Logan can trade with Flashbox here. And we can give the old armor to him. Oh, we got another lockbox right over here in the corner. Lock level 35. Type 1 Iron Club, nice. Damage versus animals, minus 10%. Indoor bonus, plus 2. A little bit of a cutting damage, but it's a blunt weapon. Blunt, blunt damage is 1.19. Blood loss times 3. Manufactured by the Edge Walkers, nice. KLR series arm right. Dexterity and strength, unarmed damage, nice. Engineering research and a Ancient science book. Empty bottle of rum is three cats. We're not taking that. Now let's get rid of this foul meat for some more fish. Oh, Rose here, she can carry some fish. Excellent, excellent. Anything else here? Got a research bench, no power. Some battery banks. Oh, these boxes over here. Skeleton arm left, masterwork, nice. Search books. Another ancient science book. Nice. Four ancient science books so far. Okay, Logan and Gnu are going to trade. And Logan's going to get this model edge type 1 club. Get rid of this rusting blade. Basic iron sticks with a wrapped handle. Okay. New Logan and Katoshi coming up to the next level. Okay, I got uh, cactus rum, fabric sake, rice bowl. Power core right here. Capacitor. A wrench. Another capacitor back here. Some boxes back here as well. Okay, I got... What happened? We got at least one Gruglars up. A few Gruglars are up. Everybody right over here. Attack all. We'll come back to that looting. Okay. 
Okay, no more rain. Was that a group of them? Oh, okay, it was just a couple that got back up from earlier. Okay, that's fine. Combat cleaver. Oh, you know what? Rain the Giant uses a edge type 1 cleaver. Sue's got a long cleaver. Get Rain the Giant, I'll get the combat cleaver. Made by Cross, and then we'll give the combat cleaver here to Sue. The edge type 1 combat cleaver to Sue. Get the bulls plus Katoshi right over here. Tech target. <laughs> yes. Dead. Okay, this Gorglar is eating the mercenary captain alive. Okay, Gnu and Sue here. Middle box lock level 15, let's pick the lock. Ancient science book, nice. Ancient safe, it's lock level 53. Got it. A Paladin's Cross MK2. Ancient Science Book and Skeleton Repair Kit. More fish. Uh, we're not going to take all the fish, though. Yes, we got an AI core. Excellent. And a topper. Awesome. Second AI core. And excellent, excellent. Two more Ancient Science Books. A third ancient science book. It's green box back here. Ancient science book and uh, Naganata Katana. This is a uh, cat number one here. Okay, so good news cat number two is better than the cat number one. If I put him in both weapon slots here. And Gnu is going to use the one that's on top. And this one here isn't going to be used at all. It's never going to be used. However, uh, it, in his character, he's going to have both of them displaying here on the outside. Nice. Let's pick this lock ancient safe. Lock level 50. Group of Grovelars down here. Some of the characters are under attack. still working on the lock. Excellent, he's got it. Engineering research and a and a Canton number three desert saber. Excellent. And some more fish. This green box, if we get it? Okay. Okay, Gnu. We got barrels back here. Yes. AI core. Always check the barrels. <laughs> Research artifact. Ancient science book. 
Some more fish. Okay, this is junk pile. Junk pile D, apparently. Uh, just for sure. Okay, I believe that we got everything here. Yeah, we got these boxes, we got these two. Excellent. Okay, I just found a source of armor here. Plated along boots. Uh, this mercenary captain no longer has any legs. <laughs> so, if that's not a faction uniform, I don't think it is, then we got some boots there. Okay, so I think we're going to travel north to Canton. And then I think we're going to go back into the swamp to check out this ruin here. As well as these ruins and by a hashish. Now we have to make it off Fishman Island first. Okay, so. Start breaking camp. Dismantle. Oh, it looks like logic standing here. Hunger rate is still 29%. It's like still counts as he's in bed even though he's not in bed. That's fine. It's mental. Everybody right here. Sue's got a lot of sleeping bags here. 14 of them. <laughs> okay, how do we get out of here? First, let's check if it's acid rain or not. Not normal rain. Okay, everybody muster right over here at the ramp. Come down to the bottom here and steal these boots. Okay, pick the lock on this prisoner pole. Everybody? Pick the lock on this prisoner pole here. Get that Groglar. Yes, Dr. Chung just shot him in the face at like point blank. Point blank range. Pick the lock. And set free. Splint injuries. I think she still may be dying. Okay, set has almost no armor. So we're gonna get the plated long boots here. Okay, chain shirt, samurai pants, samurai armor, uh, just stolen from, not a faction uniform, and we'll take the wakazishi as well, main weapon, why not? Excellent, now set's going to be Slowed down now from the encumbrance. Sit's got some armor though, which is great. I didn't think of that until just now. I should have maybe looted those other mercenaries that fell. 
head north or along the coast. Get him. Attack. A group of Gribblars here. Two groups of Gribblars here. Oh, they just fought somebody over here. Who's this? Oh, this mercenary here. Okay. Nobody fell in battle yet. Lay him low. That Alpha Grimblar right there. Oh, right leg is 400 hit points. The arms are around 300 as well. Okay. I just noticed that he got hit like with a, over 100 damage like several times before he went down. I think without the bulls, this island would be a lot different. Everybody over here. This mercenary's crippled right here. Okay, see who needs shoes. Okay, Ro needs some shoes here. Okay, I can't steal from him. <laughs> splint injuries. Everybody splint injuries. Oh, no, no. Attack unprovoked right here. Attack unprovoked. Okay, they can't hit him. Some bug where we can't hit him. <laughs> okay, let's try fastest speed. Everybody right over here. Normal speed. I'll reset there for a second and then attack unprovoked. I have seen this bug before where we can't hit him. If I let it run long enough, they'll eventually... They'll eventually hit him, but that's okay. We'll... Leave him where he is. Let's continue to head north. Now that King Gruglar is dead, the fishermen patrols will no longer spawn in this area, as well as a few other areas. A place called the Pits, the Pits East, and Cheaters Run. Oh, we can't hit this Gribblar either. <laughs> so we got two broken arms here. Two crippled arms so we can't attack. And then we attack target. And we can't hit him. So we'll just follow Gnu. He's right here. I've got him. Somebody got him. <laughs> okay, everybody muster right here. I don't want to... Oh, there's another one with two crippled arms. Yeah, let's meet up with Set. Set's moving kind of slow because of the new armor. Oh, it looks like there's a Gruglar over at this nest. We'll go over there. 
Double time. Let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two. Pick it up. Okay, a bunch of Gribblers over here. Stop right here and fight him. Normal speed. We'll take a look at combat stats of the new characters here shortly. Oh, Logan may be out of arrows. I'll check that as well. Get back your hamburger. Just once their arms break, they just run. So <laughs> put this one here. It's completely crippled. Attack target. Toasty! Yes. Get right over here. Okay, stats. Okay, 8 attack, 8 defense, dexterity 7, toughness 7 on row. Cat's got 11, 10, 8 toughness, and 9 dexterity. Kahaku, melee attack is 10, melee defense is 8, toughness 7, dexterity 5. Swift, toughness 6, dexterity 7, melee attack 9, melee defense 9. Set is toughness 6, dexterity 6, melee attack 7, defense 9, defense 8. Flashbox has melee attack 14, defense 9, strength 13, toughness 8, dexterity 10. Okay, excellent. We'll go to double speed. I want to be close to the coast here in case the acid rain gets too bad, but right now it's just normal rain. And it's always like a retreat path, because once we start swimming, and the Groglars start going into the water, they, there can't be a fight there. Only ranged can get us at that point. Let's take a look at Logan's. Yeah, Logan is out of arrows here. So let's just stop and re-equip re Logan with arrows. Toothpick bolts. Nice. How about... How about Dr. Chung? He can get one there. When I think that friendly fire is going to be at a minimum, and these characters are a little bit stronger, then I'll give them the old world bows. But what happens with the old world bows is if a friendly fire hits one of these new characters, it's going to take their arm off, or just like instantly kill them. So that's why we're still on the toothpicks. Because it mainly because of friendly fire. The toothpicks have a higher fire rate, so they'll also gain skill faster because they're shooting more. Okay, we got some lights off in the distance here. And I got some movement over here in this pool. Crabs coming out of the tidal pool right now. Excellent, excellent. So I think with this crab, we're going to first aid on the crab to heal the injuries. And then I'm going to have Katoshi pick the crab up. It should stay unconscious for a while. Let's see if we can collect some more crabs. we got two different iron resources. One right here and one right here. And I'm going to have a logic prospect. 
Okay, we got 100% growth on green plants, 50% growth on swamp plants, wind speed is 0.3 miles per hour, plenty of water, and fertility. Stone here and there. A couple of iron nodes. One copper node way off over here. Okay. And then we also have the acid rain. Now right, we're getting closer to these mountains over here. This place is a lot quieter now that King Grublar's did. But I did, see, I did see fire on the hill over here earlier, so there may be a nest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of Groglars right here. Normal speed. And Dr. Chung and Logan off to the side over here. Gonna pull row back. So if Katoshi falls in battle, that crab is gonna be activated, kinda. <laughs> He's gonna be back conscious again. Just wanna pull everybody back over here. I want the Gruglars to come to us, not not us to go to them. Herbal Nest 125 has been wiped out. Excellent. And nobody fell in battle. That flesh box getting some hits in there. Nice. Everybody right here. come up to the top of the hill here. Uh, that, may, that might be it for sites. That's why I wanted to come north. Oh, it's acid rain again. Okay, so we'll head back to the coast then. Just in case. Let's check injuries. That's pretty messed up. Cat and Row are pretty injured as well. That's it. Okay, it looks like we have a more Brogolars down here. Tech target. If it wasn't for the acid rain, I'd probably build a base here. Although these Gurglars can be dangerous if they pick somebody off when you're not paying attention. That's the one thing about the starving bandits is that they don't they don't eat your characters. <laughs> Everybody right here. Pull back, group up. Logan and Dr. Chung, you're fine up there. Excellent. Gurglar Nest 124 has been wiped out. Continue to follow the coast. I just I want to 
be very sure that they're not missing any sites here. That's why we're walking up the island. Oh, we got some something's attacking us here. What happened here? Taka got hit for seven. Ganyu got hit for six. I don't see anybody, so we're just gonna stop. Oh, there he is. Secret. <laughs> come about here so that way I can see the rest of the island. Okay, we found another crab here. Sets down. She's back up. I got a third crab. Okay. Ruka, pick up this crab. Okay, Kang can pick up this crab. Pretty medical, and then I want to make sure that these crabs are still alive. Okay, first aid. This one, first aid. Doesn't look like there's any other sites here on Fishman Island, so Fishman Island is complete. Just have to leave. Uh, which road should we take? I'm going to have to think about which road. I want to go to Canton, but maybe we'll go the other. Maybe we'll go this one. I'm not sure yet. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more videos.